Actually, you could say one of the oldest uh, continuing traditions of music in the world because it's, if you trace it back, it goes all the way back to the daily chantings. The special thing about this is that it uses a system of intervals where there are 22 notes in the whole octave. It uses the whole body and the breathing in a very yogic manner to produce sound, to control sound. There are very subtle inner things that are used in Drupal. I came across a recording of Drupal when I was in university. Uh, it was a recording of Rag Darbari Kanra and I was fascinated by the sound, the sheer sound of the voices and the tambura. It sort of blended into one and created a kind of a, a atmosphere of the raga that I had never come across before in any kind of music. In this music, what is done is there is a whole play of feeling and sentiment. It's like a wanting something, it's like a praying for something. So it's a play of feelings, you see. Sometimes it becomes manly when one wants something. Then this feeling of fulfillment. Drupal represents the deepest uh, thoughts of, of Indian civilization. You see, this whole connection with the inner, the whole connection with these deepest levels of the consciousness. This is all integrated into Drupal in its very fabric, in its very basic concepts. <laughs> 